Hi, welcome to 185 part. We will look at some more questions. So there are EC2 instances. These two guys should talk without any uh, delay in the message being transmitted. So what will you do? Will you keep both the guys in the same place, same zone? Or will you keep them in multiple places? See if both the guys are in the same room, if the, they can talk fast. There is no need to use networks. Yeah. So this looks okay. But uh, B says put them in different regions different regions means one in india the other london not work you have kept them apart so far that latency will be there in the network c says hey guys let's use cloud front see cloud front why do we use if we are building applications like netflix where we want very low latency high performance so because audience they don't have patience to wait for buffering and those things so that is where we will use uh, cloud front for building such applications it is you know a content delivery solution it is not a normal solution to put between two EC2 instances. Why will I use this between two EC2 instances when I know I'm not building or deploying an application like Netflix or Amazon Prime? I'm not building these applications. So why will I worry about it? Okay. Hmm, I will not use this. Now, D says, guys, use EC2 instances in same edge location and same region. Why edge location? Why not availability zone itself? See, one thing remember, edge location, see, CloudFront uses to cache copies of data. If you are using Netflix, so, you should remember that it copies data in multiple edge locations so that uh, depending upon from where people are accessing it they will access it faster that is the purpose suppose uh, you are watching tiger 3 and you are in america but this is an indian movie so this will be cached in the edge location suppose you are in, in new jersey so it will be cached in north america edge location near you similarly openheimer was very famous so in india if you want to watch it but this if it is a hollywood movie uh, so this will be cast here in india so that all indians can watch it without uh, i mean not without with lowest latency and highest performance so that we can enjoy the movie so i hope you got we don't use this location uh, we only use it in the context of cdn so this is our answer option a use ec2 instances in a single az see there is a company and like this bank and they want to take periodic backups they they they, they have centralized they take backups and they are created in ec2 instances and efs now they want uh, a service to take their backup with minimal operation effort basically they are saying i have ec2 instances 
and I have elastic file system take their backups give me a solution backup solution see s3 is a storage solution it is not a backup solution after taking backup you can store the data in s3 but it is not a backup solution s3 is wrong data pipeline so this is a web service to automate movement and transformation of data here we are not talking about etl this is used specifically in conjunction of etl here we are talking about backups storage gateway so if you have on premises and cloud then you use storage gateway in between it is a hybrid cloud solution it is hybrid cloud storage solution not a backup solution this is an end-to-end -end backup solution you can centrally manage the backups and protect the data also these are some of the benefits data protection you can use it for disaster recovery protect against ransomware and you can govern the protection compliance so backup is our answer imagine companies like netflix they have so many video files they will have to take the backup if a crash happens or ransomware attack happens they cannot afford to lose these files of videos so they have to take the backup so aws backup is also a good way to plan the end-to-end -end system for taking the backups i hope you understood this concept now let us look at this next question the company wants to implement a data warehouse okay imagine bank of america they have so much uh, so much of data and uh, they have data warehouse they want to maintain a data warehouse where they will do analytics they can plug their ai modules ml modules to read the data and so on in aws where they will they maintain the data warehouse and they have petabytes of data what service they will use for data warehouse will they use um should they use DynamoDB? it is a no sql database who uses such databases apps like uber make use of this because it is very fast it gives you millisecond latency it is just like a database on steroids where people like uber apps or uh, lyft can can use it so this one uh, when i was in uh, new york i used lyft but i'm not sure in india it came or not but this is also similar to uber our questions use case is different it is about data warehouse and not building real-time apps rds for mysql so if you want to build modern applications you can use rds for mysql but the problem is you cannot store petabyte scale data here it is good for storing oltp data oltp data but not for data warehouse so if you have such applications and you want to store the data behind it like uh, who created the login and customers and those kind of stuff you can store it in this rds databases but this is not a data warehouse so that is why this one is option c is wrong efs you know in your office you have network drives shared network drives this is similar to that efs it is a file system elastic file system in the aws world and uh, these companies use it johnson johnson they use it to store their a lot of files if you see this they have given a use case of where and why they use it and they have an interview also so but what do you do at johnson johnson or do they publish in the data science world and those things okay and what are the typical use cases you, have used? you can read this this is good information they have used efs to provide analytic storage to shared file access to the data scientist that is where efs has been used and that is where they keep all of their files so that the data scientists can access it use it and so on okay uh, so these guys solve the toughest healthcare challenges that's what they say on their websites and all the files related to this they do a bulk of file storage in the afs uh, efs uh, storage but then again this is not a data warehouse solution okay so what is left or what is left is you know aws nasdaq uses aws for storing its data warehouse petabytes of scale of data nasdaq you know what it is a nasdaq it's a stock exchange in the us and it operates in total 27 markets okay if you are into stock trading options trading futures you can understand very well uh, i mean normally i myself i'm learning stock trading so i try to scan the data uh, what happened in nasdaq uh, last last day and accordingly i try to understand what is the indian sentiment what is the european sentiment what is the asian sentiment okay so 
this guy says that we are able to easily support the jump from 30 billion records to 70 billion records a day because of the flexibility s3 and redshift performance so this guy is uh, using redshift day in and day out and they are using for 70 billion records a day a day petabyte scale records it okay who else is using it these guys are using it so redshift it is the best price performance for cloud data warehouse sharing now snowflake is also competing with redshift snowflake it is also a cloud-based data store you can start your trial on snowflake.com you can go there register your data sets and you can start your trial 30 days trial you get to experiment with their data warehouse solutions and as usual i'm always curious about how is snowflake different to redshift these are the key, some of the key differences you can see around pricing snowflake pricing reflects compute charges separately from storage that is the advantage snowflake has better support for json based functions uh, scaling snowflake offers instant scaling whether redshift takes minutes uh, to add more nodes and so on so we have established why redshift is the uh, go to application or go to feature or go to service in aws for building data warehouse solutions if you have not yet subscribed do so this will help you start your, your you know cloud journey on aws as your google cloud if you have not become a member become a cloud ninja or a cloud kernel member and gain access to the paid content focus on the concepts i hope you understood the concepts and see you in the next part